Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. Recently, our local Dollar General did a big remodel and I was in there the other day. They were putting out their Christmas. I found some amazingly inexpensive and super cute items. So I thought I would do a full video on some Christmas DIYs for you. This very first one is this adorable and really quick and simple garland. So I ended up grabbing two packs of these Buffalo Check Mitten ornaments. They were only $3 a piece and they had three ornaments in each pack, so they were only a dollar per ornament. I also grabbed a pack of their Jingle Bells, which were six for a dollar. I'm going to be using some jute, some Buffalo Check ribbon, and some scissors for this garland. I ended up measuring my mantle and adding a foot and a half to the length, that way it could kind of hang down a little bit and also give me some longer end pieces to tie onto the mantle. I folded it in half and then taped the middle to my countertop. This kind of gave me the center of my garland and that way it wouldn't get away from me. Next I laid out my pattern so I did a mitten and then a jingle bell and added the mitten to the middle first and added a mitten about spaced out a foot on each side and once I had those mittens all tied onto my jute I strung up the jingle bells on some thinner jute tied those onto the garland jute and then decided to add a little piece of ribbon just tied around the top of the jingle bell that kind of tied in that buffalo check look and gave the whole garland a cohesive look then I went ahead and kept going with my pattern, adding those jingle bells in between the mittens that I spaced about 12 inches apart. If you enjoy budget-friendly DIYs, I hope you will hit that subscribe button and join our DIY family here. I post new ideas and inspiration every single week. This garland turned out so cute and it was so simple and quick to make and it only cost about $7 in supplies from Dollar General. They also had so many different other kinds of great ornaments there that you could really get creative with this and make a garland that really matches your own home's decor and your own Christmas theme. I've done this so many times, it's a great way to upgrade an inexpensive glass jar candle and that's by just adding a simple decal to the front. I'm using Oracle number 651 matte white vinyl and the design is actually one from my design studio from my vinyl cutter and it was just a really inexpensive design. Sometimes it's just easier to uh, go to a design space and purchase something that someone else's design than it is to kind of sit there and spend so much time creating your, on your own. Especially if you are super busy during the holidays like we are, but this is a super quick way to make a nice gift or decor piece for your home. I'm just adding my decal to the back of a masking tape type of transfer paper and then I just rubbed my decal right onto the front of my candle. You could also take this idea and find either stickers you can find at Dollar Tree or the craft store and personalize it that way if you don't have a vinyl machine. Mm -hmm. 
I am completely obsessed with candles. I especially love them during this time of the year and during the winter months. It just warms up your space and makes it so cozy. If you love candles too, give this video a thumbs up for me and also let me know down in the comments below what is your favorite candle scent. I just found this amazing scent called Winter at Bath & Body Works this weekend and it is my new favorite. For this project, we are going to customize a metal tray that I found at Dollar General for only $6. And you can also use your own tray maybe you have on hand or that you can find these in the Target Dollar Spot sometimes too for only $5. I'm going to be using some really cute buffalo check wrapping paper from Dollar General. I just traced the bottom of my tray onto the wrapping paper and cut out that circle. I did cut it a little bit smaller than the actual line that I drew to make sure it would fit on the inside. And now we are going to Mod Podge our wrapping paper to the bottom of the tray. You do want to work kind of quickly, add a generous amount of the Mod Podge, but make sure that it's not lumpy or clumpy, and make sure it's pretty even throughout before you add your paper to the top. And then you're going to seal it in using more Mod Podge on top. Again, you want to make sure that when you are all done adding your Mod Podge, you kind of go over it and give it a once over so that all of your brush strokes go the same way and once it is dry you can see here I kind of have a raw edge that I didn't like so I'm gonna be adding some jute this is four ply jute uh, around those edges using my hot glue This turned out so cute, and the great thing about it is this one that I created, you could use year round, but of course you could use any type of scrapbook paper or wrapping paper that you have on hand. I really love this buffalo check, and this really gave it kind of that farmhouse rustic look. You can add your milk and cookies for Santa on here, or use it as a centerpiece. So many different ideas. These little gift bags are such a bargain. You can get a pack of three of them for only a dollar, which means they are only about 33 cents each. I decided I was going to personalize them using some heat transfer vinyl in white and using my Cricut Easy Press to add them to the front. I have loved this machine. It's just something new in my craft stash that I splurged on. I have had a huge heat press in the past and I don't even get it out anymore because it's just so big and it's on a rolling cart. This is really nice because it fits like right into your cabinet or into a drawer and you can put it away when you're not using it. And all you have to do is heat up your fabric first, you add your design on top, heat press it down for 30 seconds. Once your timer clicks off, you just flip it over. Again, you'll heat press it for 30 more seconds. Let your design cool off just a bit. You don't want it super duper hot and you just want it a little bit warm before you peel off that plastic super easy and it really transforms something so inexpensive into something that looks really um, high end. You could also personalize these and put names on them, put potpourri in them, put gift cards in them. So such a fun project you can really get creative with.
This is probably my favorite pillow that I've ever made. They came out so cute and they're also so simple and inexpensive. I would love to know down in the comments below which one of these five Dollar General DIYs was your favorite. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and select subscribe if you haven't yet. I'll have even more budget friendly Christmas DIYs popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for joining me today and I will see you in the next one. Happy holidays.